Welcome and a very warm welcome to another episode of Bridges with me, Rafi Abdul Malik. We're talking about building bridges, how to communicate with the West. Last time we actually spoke about building bridges. As usual, joined by Dr. Nadia Al Faj. Thank you, Doctor, for joining us in the studio today. My pleasure. Thank you so much. We're talking about building bridges, communicating. So, Doctor, on the last episode we were talking about building bridges and we found and discussed how to communicate with the, the world regarding Islam. Let's take a look at now, we, we know about Judaism, Christianity, Islam. Do they have something in common? Where does this all lead? First, please allow me to start thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya wa mursaleen. I would like to welcome all our dear viewers. We have a great thing that is a common thing mm -hmm. among us. Mm -hmm. particularly Jews, Christians, and Muslims. Okay. We have, we have the belief in one true God. Okay. You know, the Jews, the Christians, and Muslims, mm. they believe, all of them believe in the one true God. So it's to be the oneness of God. Mm -hmm. Enlighten us. I, I, I know you've actually written a book mm -hmm. of the oneness of um, Allah. You know, tell us about a little bit about this, please, Doctor. My pleasure. This is actually the the journey or the the truth of okay. of, of of religion. Okay. That all prophets, all messengers mm. throughout history conveyed the same truth mm. that God is one. Okay. Let's go to the PowerPoint presentation. Okay. It tells us now that. Our father, Adam, from the beginning, Adam was the first man made by Allah, by the true God. Mm. So the Bible and the Quran agree on that, that Adam is our father. Fascinating. So mm -hmm. you're saying to me, in the Quran and the Bible, it, it actually says they believe Adam is the father of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And could you j just elaborate on this because this is a very fascinating point because you know previously as I'm a revert to Islam I want to clear up because before we believed that God is the father of Jesus and then Jesus is God how how can it you know where did you find out Adam is the father of Jesus this is fascinating for me myself actually it's uh, I mean Adam is the father of all humans mm -hmm. To tell you that, to tell you the truth, that Adam is our father, mm. and then from Adam and Eve, we we had generations mm. after generations. Okay. But the the main point I would like to stress here is the message, the core of the message that is mm. oneness or the oneness of God. Mm -hmm. Adam brought with him the message that God is one. Yes. So, Adam and his family, and the generations mm. who came throughout history mm -hmm. got this message, mm. God is one. And then we go, we go to another great prophet or messenger, that is Nuh or Noah. No. Noah, peace be upon them all, brought the message, God is one. Okay. But people have generally speaking, have mm. the tendency of deviating from the straight path. Okay. We tell them, go straight, and then they go to other avenues, other mm. ways. So Noah told them, worship the one true God alone. But they started worshiping idols, okay. started worship, uh, worshiping other objects like trees, uh, stones, you name it. Yes. So they, they actually worshipping, for example, instead of Allah, they were worshipping trees and such things like this. Mm -hmm. So Noah believed that the trueness of one God, Allah, mm -hmm. and you're saying to us basically the people were praying to like stones, trees and such things. Fascinating. They have deviated mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the straight path. Mm -hmm. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the true God, whenever we say Allah, we are talking about the one true God, yes. the Creator, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we are not talking about Allah, the God of 
Arabs or Muslims. Yes. This is not true. Yes. This is another thing that I would like to, to clarify. Yes. That some people in the West or some people, you know, here or there might conclude whenever they hear or, or read this text, mm. Allah, they might conclude, oh, he speaks about his own God. Yes. Not my God. Yes. But this is not the truth. The truth is that Allah, mm. the creator, the one true God, mm. he is the creator of all, of all. all creatures. Mm. All things, all objects were created by Allah, the true one. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whenever people go astray, hmm. they deviate, go to other avenues, yes. Allah, because he is so merciful, actually, yes. because he is, he is caring and he is so compassionate, Allah would send another prophet, mm -hmm. another messenger, to bring people mm. back to track. Then Allah sent other prophets and messengers, among them Abraham, Ibrahim yes. or Abraham. And Abraham brought the message, God is one. So the, the message is consistent. Mm. It is original and intact. It did not change throughout the ages of history mm. all the prophets we are just naming we are mentioning a few just few of them but there are thousands of of prophets yes. who were sent to mankind mm -hmm. throughout ages now let's go to another main prophet another great messenger Inshallah. he is moses or musa as we call him in 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 arabic yes Musa was sent to who? To the children of Israel, to the Israelites. Mm -hmm. And Moses brought the same message. He was talking, he was speaking to the Jews. Oh, mm. Jews, mm. oh, Israelites, worship one God. Mm -hmm. He told them to worship the true God. Okay. So he brought the message, God is only one. So it was all documented. It was the true message, continuation of one God. Sure, we can trace mm. this truth mm. in the Bible, but now let me sh share with you this slide, and mm. then I will, I will give you more pieces of evidence from the Bible and from the Quran. Inshallah, let's take a look. Sure. <laughs> Moses, even d during his time, mm. with his followers, mm. when he, you know, when he told them, just follow me, they started worshiping other idols like mm -hmm. Baal, B-A-A-L, Baal. They started worshiping other things. Mm -hmm. And Moses told them, just worship Allah, worship God alone. Okay. And he tried his best to, mm -hmm. to guide them to the mm -hmm. straight path. So it's talking about the straight path. You're talking about the oneness of Allah. Share with us more, Doctor. Mm -hmm. So this is, the, I mean, I'm talking about the straight path leading to God. And I, I show this there, as you say, the diagram. Yes. This line shows the straight path leading to God, Allah, the true, oh. cre the true, the, the creator, mm. the true God. Yes. So this line or this path shows us the oneness, yes. the uniqueness, and the sameness yes. of the message. Now let me go to a very critical personality, very sensitive issue, Jesus. Okay. So Christians believe, as you mentioned, could you please uh, repeat that y y you, were, well, yes. you were a Christian? Previously, I was a Christian. Uh -huh. um, I was brought up Christian. I was raised Christian. And we believed that Jesus, um, God was the father of Jesus. However, he was a spirit of God. And, you know, the, the father, the spirit and the holy son. There was three in one. I could never understand. I was forever asking, please, please elaborate on this. How, how you know, the question I always asked, Doctor, mm -hmm. if God is one, 
-hmm. How can he kill himself and resurrect himself? This was f fascinating for me. I could never get to the, 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 the truth I was forever asking in the church, please, can you tell me? And the answer I got is it just is. Thank you. That was, that was it. That was it. So I, I'm, I'm not still now to this day, mm -hmm. I'm not sure mm -hmm. on what the circumstances are. However, alhamdulillah, now I'm Muslim, it's clear, quite clear in the Quran. So you were so concerned about the one God. I, I, for myself, I was concerned about praying to Allah. I didn't know about Islam. I didn't know about Judaism. I didn't know about Christianity. I just believed in one God. Mm -hmm. And I felt my heart was to, to God. I felt closer to God. However, what, what is Islam? What is Judaism? What is Christianity? Mm -hmm. I didn't know anything. These questions I was asking, no one answered them for me. And I was stumbled. When I read the Quran, it was very, very clear, very clear. It's underlined in every, ev any question I had in the Quran, it was answered dramatically. Beautiful. And even now, even now, I, I go to the Quran and they, the, the Quran answers everything for me. It, it, you know, subhanAllah, alhamdulillah. Wonderful, alhamdulillah. Great. So now, this is why we would like to share this, you know, truth with mm -hmm. others. Yes. To just out of love, out of concern. At the end of the day, it's yes. up to them. It's up, it's up to them to choose what, what they like. Yes. But as usually we, we, we say, knowledge is power. Yes. And Jesus, peace be upon him, said in the Bible, seek the truth. Seek the truth and the truth will set you free. Thank you very much, Doctor. Keep that thought. We're going to take a short break. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned where we'll be discussing further the oneness of Allah. Assalamu alaikum. Such different people Allah. from different lands. Allah. We're all descendants Allah. of the first man. Such different people Allah. from different lands We're all descendants Allah. of the first man Assalamu alaikum and a very warm welcome back to Bridges with me, Rafi Abdul Malik. Well, joining us today, we have Dr. Nadi Al Faj. Doctor, welcome. Thank you for having me. You're more than welcome. Thank you for joining us in the studio. Before the break, we were discussing the oneness of Allah. And when we're discussing my thoughts and, you know, basically before I was a Muslim, my thoughts. Well, let's continue our discussion with the doctor. Doctor, we were discussing before the break the oneness of Allah. So please continue. Sure. Let me just quickly recap what we we mentioned. Excellent. That we discussed. Uh, we we spoke about the oneness of God. Yes. That Allah, the true God, mm. created Adam and gave him the message: mm. God is one. Mm. People turned away, mm. deviated, mm. drifted away from the straight path. Yes. God sent other prophets, other messengers to bring them back to yes. the straight path leading to him. Mm. They, people, humans generally go back to, the, to their old habits. Yes. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would send other prophets, other messengers to remind yes. them, to teach them, to guide them, go back to the truth. And then we, go, we, we went to uh, Nawa time you know or the prophet mm. the mm. great messenger now and we said we mentioned that he delivered the message God is one yes but people started worshiping idols stones trees and other things mm. later Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala glory be to him whenever we say subhanahu wa ta'ala means glory be to him Allah glory be to him sent Another great messenger, that is Abraham. Yes. Ibrahim, he's the father of many prophets. He's the father of, you know, Jewish prophets, Christians, and, and Muslims. Alhamdulillah. And Abraham, alayhi salam, may Allah's peace be upon him, brought the same message. Mm. He did not change or divert mm. 
now. The truth. So we're still on the one true path. We are still on the same path. Yes, yes. On the same, as I mentioned before, on the same line leading or guiding us to the straight path, leading us to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes. So Abraham, alayhi salam, may Allah's peace be up with him, taught people to believe in Allah mm. alone, mm. to worship him, and to obey and pray to him alone. But again, people de deviated. Yes. Then we uh, discussed or talked about Moses, a yeah. great messenger. Uh -huh. We love all these prophets and messengers. We love them. It of is course. an article of faith in Islam, by the way. It is an article of faith in Islam to believe in all these prophets and messengers exactly. sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Moses was sent to the children of Israel, mm. to the Israelites. Mm. And he had a difficult time with them. Mm. They worshipped Baal. They were just complaining all the time. But the message is still is, is the same message. Yes. God is one. Jesus, peace upon him, another critical and sensitive issue. You know, issue. Yes, subject. When we talk with Christians, for example, yes. they, they, some of them, if not all, hmm. believe that Jesus is God or Son of God. Yes. They believe in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Yes. Now let's go to the message of Jesus. Hmm. What did he say? Did he say God is three? Let's find out. He said God is one. Alhamdulillah. So he did not say God is three. Mm. But people, they, uh, the followers of mm. Jesus or some followers of Jesus mm. changed mm. some pieces of some parts of yes. this truth. Yes. They have deviated from the straight path leading to Allah, the true God. Yes. By the way, Jesus, peace be upon him, when we say Allah, Allah, we repeat the word Allah. Mm. Did Jesus use this word or not? Well, for me, myself, Doctor, I believe he would have used Allah because this is the, the, the even though it's Arabic, this is the word of God in many countries. You know, I, my uh, dear brother, my dear viewers, Jesus was speaking Aramic. Mm. Aramic is a dialect of Hebrew. Mm. And he used this word several times. When he was put on the on the cross, mm. as the Bible says, as the Bible says, when Jesus was put on the cross, mm. he cried and said what? Eli, Eli, or Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. The Bible states there, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Yes. Eli Eli or Elahi Elahi. Eli Eli. Mm. Eli Eli. It's, it is so close to Elahi Elahi in Arabic. Yes. By the way, when Christians go to the church, they usually shout, saying what? Alu. Alleluia. Uh, it's Alleluia, Alleluia. Or all these, these, you know, there's many things that they say yeah, in the church. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Alleluia. Mm. And let's let's break down this expression. Alu Luya. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Alu. Yes. The root is there. Of course. So Hebrew, Aramaic in, in particular, and uh -huh. Arabic are mm. sister languages. We have several words which are close. Joining example, you together. For example, salam mm. in Arabic. How how can we, how how we say it in in Hebrew? Shalom, shalom, shalom. yom, yom a day, mm. yom kabur mm. in Hebrew, and there are other words which are very close in terms of pronunciation. Yes, and the reason is that you know Hebrew and Arabic are sister languages. Mm. The point I would like to stress here is. Jesus, peace be upon him, used an equivalent word mm. like this. Eli, Eli, 
ilahi ilahi Allah Allah <laughs> the point the other point I'd like to to, to to stress is he shared the oneness of the message or the message of oneness okay he he brought the oneness of God mm -hmm. God is one mm. now when people deviated drifted away from the straight path yes they started believing in three gods mm. God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit they believed in other different beliefs okay. like the mother of God yes Mary yes and then they started you know looking at saints as okay. holy so holy mm. Allah or God the true one sent another prophet who is he Muhammad Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mm. was sent to bring people back to the truth mm -hmm. he he told people worship Allah alone mm -hmm. we do not Muslims do not worship Muhammad Yes. They do not worship Ali or Wali or anyone. Mm. They worship only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the message is God is one. Yes. Allahu Ahad. Okay, now let's go to to the Bible. Okay. Can we trace the truth? Can we trace the oneness of God in the Bible? It's very fascinating, Doctor. This is something I want to ask you because basically reading the Bible, obviously, I, I, you know, I can, you know, I'm afis of the Bible. I, I never found anything which stated Jesus is God, God is Jesus. Never. It was always God is one. But you're going to enlighten us here right now. Right. This is a great issue. I mm. mean, it's a very sensitive mm. issue. I respect our our dear viewers but yes. we are sharing the truth that we believe in the truth about islam the truth mm. that we find in islam about other prophets yes. about other mm. religions mm. as you mentioned earlier does god die mm. does god kill himself or mm. i mean this is a very crucial question does does God die mm. exactly so who was put on the cross who died exactly did God die it is a very crucial and critical question exactly because we are told in the Bible by the way mm -hmm. that God doesn't die exactly well doctor thank you so much for your thoughts we're going to continue next time that's all we have time for right now Thank you very much for joining us. We're talking about the oneness of Allah. We will continue this discussion next time on Bridges with me, Rafi Abdul Malik. Until then, keep safe. Assalamu alaikum.